Okay, we just went through a pound of hot dogs. This is uh, 28th, Monday the 28th uh, of October. And it's uh, a little after 7 p.m. And as soon as it got dark, they were here waiting. And uh, that one there is Casey. And some of these other ones that are with her are her babies. And the babies are bigger than she is. There's one of them here. What do you want? <laughs> I gave you your hot dogs. I go, go eat your dry food. Go on. Go eat your dry food. There. I got nothing for you. <laughs> no, I haven't. Go eat your dry food. That's a good boy. And we got a stranger there. He won't come near me. So the hot dogs that they eat, they're, they're chicken dogs, they're not the beef ones. They're they're better for they're cheaper, but they're better for them actually, better than the beef. I just put out fresh water, and I bought seedless grapes today, or not seedless, the seeded ones. Last night they ate the ones with the seedless, but the seeded ones are better for them. Because the seeds give them a lot of energy. And I know I know they look big, but you know, like I, I explained to my American friends that the, that um, they got to have the beef on for the winter because they're going to go three to four months without food. So. That's the reason they're big. And you know what? The ones in the wild, they're not skinny either. They're uh, they're pretty big. For all intents and purposes, these guys are wild. They're wild animals. Uh, they're okay around me, but they're a little skittish of other people. And, uh, and they still eat in the wild. They don't just eat here. Like, they're out there catching fish in the river and all that stuff. And... and uh, and when I checked their scat in the woods, uh, it, it's all full of seeds and everything. So, you know, they were eating berries and that all summer. So, <clears throat> But they don't leave any of the scat here in the deck or in my lawn. The, my whole yard is clear, but you have to go in the woods to find it. <clears throat> and they're a member of the bear family. So if anybody asks you, do the bears do it in the woods? And yes, they do. <laughs> People call them trash pandas because they're always hanging around dumpsters and stuff like that. Well, that's the city raccoons, and well, there's no other way for them to eat, so they have to eat garbage. But these fellows, uh, they eat top notch, uh, and I give them eggs about once a week. I, I hard boil the eggs, and um, and you got to peel them. I put raw eggs out on the lawn there, and I went out two hours later, they weren't even touched. So I took them in, I hard boiled them, and cut them in half and put them in a little dish, and they, they finished them off. I, I got a dish of corn for them here tonight, too, I want to put out. And grapes, and of course, they get their sandwiches. I got a package of cookies, but they're not getting cookies. They'll get a cookie on the weekend. <clears throat> it's funny they don't they don't uh, they don't seem to care about me at all. And Casey, uh, she was so small when I first got her uh, last year. We weren't sure what she was, so we named her a name that you could have for female or a male. So that's why we picked Casey, and uh, but she uh, she got so big, and then she had three she had three three babies. Hossie hit four. There now, see you See what happens. 
got to put up with that ever since they moved here. But they don't come over in the yard anymore, thank God. They used to, until I called a dog catcher on them.